Think about the most iconic trophies in sport. The FIFA World Cup was famously lost in 1966, only to be discovered by a dog. NBA's Larry O'Brien trophy has been cried on by Michael Jordan. The NHL's Stanley Cup was dropped on a bonfire by the Toronto Maple Leafs in 1962. Sergio Ramos dropped the Copa del Rey and the Real Madrid celebration bus ran over it. What we're saying, a trophy lives a tough life. Thankfully, in 2010, Louis Vuitton decided to save the day. Over the last 10 years, the French Maison of Craft did a whole array of one-of-one -of -one travel cases for the FIFA World Cup alongside a whole host of out-of-this-world collectible. This is how it all started. This is the story of how Louis Vuitton saved the World Cup. In 2010, Louis Vuitton was commissioned by FIFA to provide a bespoke case to ensure the 18-karat gold FIFA World Cup trophy travelled in safety and in style to its final resting spot. Soccer City, Johannesburg, South Africa. The case was first seen and brought to Johannesburg on the 11th of July 2010 by Italian World Cup winning captain Fabio Cannavaro. The special case was entirely handmade by one Louis Vuitton craftsman from its Asnier workshop near Paris and had all the brand's signature detailing including brass locks, monogrammed LV canvas and hardware corners. Unsurprisingly, especially when it comes to financial information and FIFA, its price tag is closely guarded secret. However, the Parisienne workshop creates roughly 400 unique trunks each year for top level customers around the world. To add even more exclusiveness to the entire event, LV called on Zidane, Maradona and Pele for its World Cup advertising campaign. It has given us one of the most iconic images in modern football history, showing the three all-time greats playing table football together. In 2014, for the World Cup in Brazil, LV created another big, beautiful box, chromed out, leather padded, and cushioned all over by the classic Vuitton monogram. In 2018, for the World Cup in Russia, they took it to new levels. The Russian version shows substantial differences. It's no longer in leather, but in titanium, with the laser engraved monogram. Louis Vuitton also produced a trunk that contains 13 re-editions of the official Adidas footballs used in competitions from 1970 to 2018. Signed by all the winners of the tournament from 1970 to 2014, the case contains the 70s Telstar ball right up to the modern day. The entire football case was sold at auction in Moscow, fetching over $250,000. It's safe to say LV have fully fallen in love with the game. In 2019, Rihanna halted the internet circles of football fans, growled chasers, and pretty much everyone when she attended the Juventus and Atletico Madrid game in Turin. The singer and Fenty creator showed off a limited edition 14 panel caramel coloured bag that Louis Vuitton originally released in 1998, the year France hosted the World Cup. The remake was re-released in 2018 and Rhee was the lucky recipient as there are currently no other known examples of the bag out there. Before Rihanna, Louis Vuitton inspired one of the greatest football jerseys ever seen in the game, the PSG third jersey from 2006-07, a jersey that marked PSG's ascent as football innovators. Although they didn't have a direct involvement, we feel they must have approved the design as it's such a direct homage to the iconic LV monogram. It represents the city and the club's heritage with its Eiffel Tower motif and the Fashion House classic colorway. The jersey lives on for its visionary approach to introducing bona fide fashion influences into the heart of football. From the creative ideas of Virgil Abloh, the LV NBA trunk was also born. A double door wardrobe trunk with interior in blue and red that can hold up to 14 pairs of shoes. Let us know how you rate the LV World Cup collections in the comments below and whether you'd like to see a proper link up with the Fashion House and PSG.